Hey everyone, I'm Chris and welcome back to another episode of North Haven News. Now, I know it's still a couple of months away, but I wanted to try and get everyone to start thinking about the election we have coming up in November. Incumbent Democrat Steve Fontana is being challenged by political newcomer Dave Yaccarino for his seat as state representative of the 87th district. What does a state representative do? Well, exactly what it sounds like. These are the people who represent us, the town of North Haven, at the state capitol in Hartford. They get to vote on laws and decide what our tax money is spent on, so you really want someone in there who you think has the best interests of the town at heart. Fontana has held this position since he was elected back in 1996. Yaccarino, a lifelong resident of North Haven with no political experience, thinks it's time for a change and that he's the right guy for the job. Now, I'm not here to endorse either of these guys. I just want to point you in the direction of some information about each of these candidates that might help you make up your own minds. Both candidates have a website, and thankfully, they're both easy to remember. Steve Fontana's site is stevefontana.com. The site has a biography, links to recent press releases, a news archive, and a place where you can sign up for an email newsletter. Dave Yaccarino's site is daveyaccarino.com. He's also got a biography, list of news and events, document library, and a photo gallery, but one thing that Dave's site has that Steve doesn't, and this just may be because he's the new guy and he needs to spell it out, is his plan for North Haven, and that's something I really like. What are you going to do about the economy? What are your thoughts on the Connecticut budget? I like being able to find out what these guys stand for, and Dave's site has that. Now, it's very likely Steve Fontana has included that same information in some of these mailers I keep getting, but if you're anything like me, those mailers go directly from my mailbox to the recycling bin, and I never even break the little seal that keeps them shut. My suggestion? Put that information on your website so I can read it whenever and wherever I want. All right, let's look at the social networking efforts of each candidate. I did find Facebook pages for both men, but until my friend request gets accepted, I can't say how much of a good source of information regarding the campaign they are. As far as I'm concerned, using services like Facebook and Twitter are great ways to communicate with the community, and I hope both of these guys take advantage of it. In fact, I'm still convinced it was that Facebook campaign in the Ridge Road District that ended up getting that last budget vote to pass. Dave Yaccarino has a YouTube channel, which at the moment only has one video on it, but at least it's a start. Both candidates have shows on NHTV, so check NHTV.com or the local papers for show listings. Finally, Chris Peterson at the North Haven Way has challenged both candidates to a Q&A that you can read about in his blog. Yaccarino accepted the challenge and answered several questions submitted by residents. You can read his answers on North Haven Way or download a Word file from Dave Yaccarino's website. Chris issued the same challenge to Steve Fontana who has yet to respond. I'm sure in coming weeks he will, and the local papers will have information about each candidate as well. So there you go. I've given you a couple of places where you can go right now to start educating yourself about each candidate who you'd like to represent at the state capitol. Now, why not start a little early and learn what you can now so that you can vote with confidence come November. So there you have it. We're at the end of another informational session of North Haven News. Thanks once again for joining me. As always, your questions, comments, and feedback can be sent to NorthHavenNews at gmail.com, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.